hear you. Wait, for some reason. Hello? I, I didn't say anything. So oh, I can hear you now. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> long time no talk. I know, too long. You look so great. how you been? You look good. So do you. I I uh I don't know if I look that good, but I'm I'm surviving <laughs> with this insanity. What's How? insanity? Sorry, I gotta turn you up. Hang on one second. I wish I could get one of those cool backgrounds like you, but I, I couldn't. I'll I'll send you a bunch. How do you do it though? Is there a certain app? Because I have an iPad and I don't know if you're able to do it with iPad. Oh, I mean, can you load a video in your Zoom as a background? No. So oh, yeah. it's probably only on the computer then. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, well, figure it out. So you lost your computer? No, actually, my computer broke, like the screen broke, and then it wasn't turning on. And I got it to turn on, but I got to figure out um, what I could do with it because nobody will repair it. So you got to get your hard drive off and then... yeah get someone to take your data off your hard drive. Right. So it's, it'll be no problem. Well, that's good because you haven't lost your data then. Right. And I thought I did, but. Oi, 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 that, that's a horrible feeling, isn't it? Yeah. So describe to me, you got the cards. I want to know everything about it. Okay, so they're awesome. I love the box. Look, I'm wearing the shirt. A shirt that matches with the top. Oh my top. god! Okay. It's both have the Star of Truths on them, which is God's most omnipresent word, like commonly used word, and it's composed of five letters. And truth symbolizes that the five pointed star, the, the star that you have on the box right here. So beautiful. And and you know I don't have each box is a bit different and that was the only one with the star and i sort of was trying ah. to usually connect each box with each person so they're very unique like they i they're very limited amount of boxes i got from a local uh bookstore so that's so awesome well you picked the one that suited me the best <laughs> that's for sure so, i'm very impressed with your work everything is done so beautifully and your video all your videos are wonderful and the delivery of your words just bend reality in the most uplifting, educational, purest way. I love your videos. <laughs> I think you're the only one who watches them. I mean, it's really. Huh. Yeah, I have like very low views. I, uh, I I feel like the universe is maybe protecting me because I, I think in the if if it actually went into the real world, it's a very different story, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, to, to me, it's like little steps, and so like. I told you a long time ago to get to the card box, but just to get to this place. So now we can do sort of like orders of 20 and somebody's already ordered 20 and you'll mm -hmm. see that the key is utilizing. I think you can design your ideal job with what's in there and with the other. Yeah. Maps and, and, and so, so it's just utilizing the tools. Have you gone through the cards yet? Not all of them, but I do have a few favorites. You, you got any favorites or a oh. favorite card? favorite card that's a like, hard one because there's so many that are i mean all of them are wonderful i think it's 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 like like when I, i'm building the manual now mm -hmm. and, and i'm looking at small like if you look at the flow words if you bring it bring, put out your flow words maybe in front of you a bit mm -hmm. uh, if they're there but there's like the purple field potential resource abundance job mission activity reactions, uh -huh. product, products and gifts, relationships and bonds, path and block, strategy and flow, agreement and direction. Let me just, I'm burning something. Just right. <laughs> so the, all those words are from the flow wheel. And let me just get it actually up. So. Well, I have a favorite card so far. What's it's that? The, re the reason one, because without reason, nobody would care. We wouldn't all be here. 
Oh, as a value. Yeah. That's a new one. It's, it's, it's actually, I, it's, it's an, things always get updated, but it, I mean, each one of those values, you know, the key to spiritual life, the key to business life are your values. And they're all right. talking about love or courage or uh, acceptance or detachment. And each one of these values is, is a sort of a, a part of our genetic makeup that we can either activate or not. Mm -hmm. So here, this is the actual flow map. So the idea is that you can design your ideal job with this map. And here, here, not all the words, this is a little older version, but like the field potential, resource abundance, job mission, activities and reactions, gifts and products, relationships and bonds, paths and block, strategy and flow and direction and agreements, conversations in the middle, and that you can use this then to program values, mm -hmm. each, each one of these green conduits. So you can actually like set an intention, what could be my dream job? And then you shuffle the value cards and then you can divine a value system or you can take the values and go through the values and choose, let's say 20 values because there's, there's so many good ones. And you, mm -hmm. and you choose 20 of them, and then you divine out of the 20 a value for each one of these. So if you had, let's say, love at field or uh, courage at resources, empowerment at job, it programs that particular part of your life. Yeah. So when you get 10 of them and you, and you, you can, again, divine them or you can actually go through the deck, you can choose 10 values. And then you can choose where they go, or you could choose 10 values from the deck and then shuffle them and divine where they go. And that's creating like within this whole information system, it's looking at your value system as being the core sort of a uh, hub for everything else in your life to come through. Mm -hmm. And I, I was reading some spiritual book and I can't remember the name of it, but it was, it was like creating that the, your ideals, your ideal values are like the structure of, your, of yourself. And then your experience moves through you. So you may not be experiencing the love or you may not be experiencing, you know, the, the awareness or the acceptance or whatever it is that you programmed as your ideal. Mm -hmm. But then this experience moves through you. And, it, and it's like your, your values are like the things that stick. The values are the things that make you aware of, is this working or is this not? And I think, yeah. that, I think then your feelings become your feedback system to tell you, are you in alignment? Is this in alignment? Is this person, is this con are these in alignment with my greater vision and purpose? That's and awesome. So you're creating this mental operating system that does that. So like, th like this is a, uh, an example of that, that uh, Lori Renton, who's the one who ordered the first 20 card sets, she ran her business on this particular val value system, where she, if you can see goodness at research, freedom at marketing, life at services, clarity at synergy, um, can't quite mercy at infrastructure, imitation at learning, commitment at operations. Is that inspiration? Can't even read it. At creativity, right? Like that, that's a nice value system. Yeah. But, but you have, there, there's like a billion combinations. Yeah, really. Like, like so, yeah. so, so the idea is that there's a, a, this, this operating system can then be custom designed to whatever you want to do. So it could be on your, because you, you, you changed into security, right? Stocks, like you change your whole yeah, I went from doing like art and logos to um, learning about the stock market and it's like completely different, but I feel like I had to stop doing something old and start something new because I always have, I want to have something behind me like to fall back on just in case something doesn't work. So that's the reason why I started that and I love it and I still got to take my tests and I think I'll pass this time. I, I took one. I think I took it too early and I didn't end up passing. But this time, I think I'm good to go. Okay. <laughs> and when's I'm excited. 
and this i'm excited about this card stuff too because we can literally transform people's lives it's like transforming normal ways of living to magical ways of thriving it's like a completely different life and i can't wait to utilize these cards to their to their full potential well the i mean if you if you noah's hasn't arrived yet clint clint got a set um he's someone i've known for quite a while who who had asked for a card set a while back um i sent one to my nephew and my niece mm -hmm. so you got like one of the first five card sets other than the 20 that i sent right. to Lori. so this is like of this iteration because i sent about 10 years ago 28 card sets you got like the first five card sets so wow, that's, I feel special. <laughs> that's and again in reward for you know what what you had done for for me and Planetary Guardian. So I absolutely, feel, I, I feel I hope that you know you feel like there's a honoring of the exchange, and yes. and an honoring of your work and and that I kept my word and, mm -hmm. and it took a while and you were very patient. So thank you for that. Well, they're definitely better than I expected. Oh, really? so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not to say anything bad about your work but you know the when i opened the box i was just like wow this is amazing that's what i mean <laughs> uh, well this is so cool i mean there's six essentially six decks within the set right mm -hmm. and so you got the values convo types and then you can almost look at the next four as being conceptual lenses so, mm -hmm. so it's essentially three set. It's like your values are different, the convo types are different, and then you've got four levels, the choice, the flow, the synergy, and the harmony. So the harmony, all those words are at the community level. So words like economics, education, health, these are big words that encompass big things in the whole community. So all of the cards mm -hmm. at the harmony lenses are at that level. Then you go to the organization, the synergy lenses, all of that is at organizational function so basically with the green cards you can organize any community with the red cards you can organize any organization then you go to the flow cards and these are words that you use to to organize your job so it's your job your organization your community right so it's the first card set that is taking into account multiple levels and using different languaging at each level but then mm -hmm. you bring in the choice lens and it's kind of like anything could go in the choice lens. The like, as you see here, these are synergy. Or, excuse me, synergy words. These are cards. Like this is part of the card set. So what we're doing is we're 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 taking this whole thinking system where you can organize any community, any organization, and any job. And then the values program that specific ideal model. So what we're doing is we're creating an ideal model first in, in on paper. And then at some point, it's sort of like it becomes in your mind. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking to integrate your online infotech, which as we build systems, which you've seen is just the beginning. It's more of a divination system, but we're coming out with something else that's more a utilization of the convo types. It's kind of like every tool is another piece of the puzzle for you as a facilitator or a designer to build things and you'll see that with, with this card set because it's unique i mean most oracle decks there's only one card set and it's sort of like languaging that for a lot of people doesn't apply to business but all of these words are more focused on business because business is you know the basics of a reality that we live in and so what we want to do is we want to take the old paradigm which is using language more in boxes and switching to to repatterning our minds into circles and sort of completely changing actually how we think and then interfacing that as an AI where we're the nodes. Like we have such a negative viewpoint of AI and AI is, is basically here already, but what we wanna do is be in the control side of things where we're building our own AI for us, for the good of the people and something that is not sort of at some point trying to fleece us all. Because yeah. I think I, I think right now, right, our species is in this great big divide, you know, between those who are trying to fleece the people and those who don't want to get fleeced. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And this is going to change the way we communicate with each other and the way we connect and appreciate each other. Well, like appreciation is just one of those convo types. And so it's kind of like if you put love and appreciation just as, as a spell. Right. And then you start to, let's say you feel it 50% more in your life. Like that's one little thing that happened as a result of like, this immense amount of possibilities that can happen with the card deck. So um, it's sort of, to me, like there's a huge potentiality here. Like, mm -hmm. and if you were sort of like looking at, huh, maybe I'd like to distribute this in Florida schools, or I'd like to, you know, anything that you sort be. Of aim at, I'll support. Mm -hmm. So, thank so, you. So don't think small, think like, the first people together, people that I know, people I believe in, and people who are contributing in some way. And then together, we're going to build this planetary guardians into sort of like 144,000 kick ass soul, soul group that's going to. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when you first started <laughs> this, you're drawing the maps on like wide ruled uh, paper with pencil and pen and. What was your what was going through your mind when you started this? Did you see this in a vision or did you just think uh, I want to change the world with lots of love and <laughs> creativity? <laughs> um, I think I remember there was a the Enneagram. I don't know if you know the symbol of the Enneagram, but it's it's nine. It's not quite like this, but it's I was I was just reading a lot of spiritual books. I've always mm -hmm. been, you know, at some point I went very, I want to know the truth kind of thing. Yeah. And, and there's a, a master called Gurdjieff, George Gurdjieff, who was one of the people to bring the Enneagram into Western thinking. But the Enneagram is kind of known for personality profiles for the most mm -hmm. part. If you're a one, you're an eight, you're a nine, and there's a whole body of work that describes that. But Gurdjieff, who taught his student John Bennett, and John Bennett was sort of like a very good writer who talked took a lot of the teachings from Gurdjieff and put it into books that were a lot more understandable than even Gurdjieff was saying. <clears throat> he had a book called The Enneagram, and they had a they mapped a manufacturing process on it, and then they mapped being in the kitchen on it. And it's basically what it does is you break things into into pieces or parts of the process, and then you see a whole broken down, and then you see a three with a six there's a mathematical combination that's different so it's three mm -hmm. interacting in six ways and then Gurdjieff said if you couldn't map it on the Enneagram you didn't understand it you couldn't understand anything because he was talking about the laws of the universe that are sort of within the symbol and that mm -hmm. <clears throat> hit me kind of going well okay well if he's saying that just start to map information on the on the Enneagram so I started to, to do that and then it's funny because then it got into four, like the whole system sort of built up over time where it started at, at one and then it had four and that was linking into Ken Wilber's four quadrants of the individual and the group inside and outside. So the inner individual, the outer individual, the inner group and the outer group, which connects into the four car sets. The choice is the inner you, flow is the outer you, synergy is the inner group and harmony is the outer group. So Ken Wilbur had a model that was universal. So I put an Enneagram on each one of those. And that became the beginning of four levels of interface for the thinking system. So the, the entire time I was like sort of, this is a bit, I don't know, it was a pre-internet, but the internet was kind of coming around. So, I mean, it's, you know, these concepts of, of group in, of higher intelligence and then organizing concepts in such a way that you could begin to bring the different models together so you could unify your mental abstract thinking system. And that's right. been the main thing that has, like if I see a model, um, I want to integrate it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that might sound rude to, to some uh, model who's walking by, but <laughs> I want to integrate <laughs> um so i always appreciate your humor <laughs> <laughs> well i think most don't think i'm trying to be funny they just <laughs> so so that was it like i i just got very 
interested in trying to figure something out. And then it became like a madness or an obsession where that's all I was doing. And then some other things happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think any, any artist or inventor at some point sort of loses their mind in their creation. Oh yeah, I, I totally understand that. <laughs> you, so, it's not easy to be a creator, especially no. in this world no we're programmed like in the opposite way your card set is going to program program us excuse me in the right way we're basically programmed the opposite way so well i the right way I, I mean i think there's so much room for exploration like i'm excited to see sort of what you do with it and what patterns yeah. you see and how because if what i would suggest is there's, I can send you uh, maybe the first of the manual or the workbook where you have unconscious incompetence. So you don't know that you don't know. Conscious incompetence, you know that you don't know. Conscious competence that you know, mm -hmm. but you still have to sort of work on it. And then unconscious competence, which is just you, you have mastery of it. And those are like four parts of learning. And so for you to go through the combo card decks, or, or you could do it with the values, you could do it with all the cards in a sense. But the convo cards are like the key reference point because the values program them. And, mm -hmm. then the, and then the concepts, you're looking through like a telescope with four levels. So you got the inner you, the outer you, the inner group or the outer group. You've got the choice, the flow, the synergy and the harmony. And so there's a sort of a new thinking skill Mm -hmm. where you're seeing through multiple conceptual lenses. So if you're looking through education and then you look at infrastructure and then you look at goals and then you look at limits, that's like a educational infrastructure goal limits. Mm -hmm. it, it's a new type of sort of grammar where you're using the cards to see in ways you would never see on your own and that each of the cards is actually a true lens. And then when you're in a convo type, like let's say I just moved into an instruction and let's say I'm looking at patterns. So I'm talking within an instructional conversation and I'm focusing on patterns. So this is the beginning of looking at how you can structure conversations, how you can have a level above that is sort of guiding how you're gonna talk with people or how groups of people talk together. Because if you, let's say, started a conversation in Zoom and mm -hmm. you instruct everybody, say, this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, get this remedy program up. Everyone gets to ask a question. And then each person gets the chance to answer the question. Everyone gets 10 minutes. So you're doing a bit of a briefing conversation. And then as you, as you go into it, each one person, you're taking them through a sort of an interview process to answer the question. So that's just the beginning of using your time to structure it by the combo types right so awesome. it's it's um you could do that to write a book you could do it oh. to, you could be writing your book and you're you're wondering about dialogue and you're going okay you you, uh, you just randomly bring up a critical analysis combo and you okay so my character is going to go into a critical analysis right now and then you click the next person goes into a storytelling and then the next person goes into whatever and so you're using it to help brainstorm structures. So you could do it for screenplays, you could do it for books, you could do it for any type of writing, any type of communication you can doing, you can start to add in the element of divination to help you get new ideas or new pathways for what you want to have come through you. Wow, so everybody could use this, but pretty much. Is there an age group? What are the best age groups for this? I guess it depends on I mean, anyone who's interested in like everyone is sort of like in business. So pretty much everyone, I think, could use a hand in improving their communication. Yeah. So but at, at different like high school students, they're more probably interested in seduction and dialoguing with, with the opposite sex. Right. Right. Uh, versus university students that are looking to more of a scholastic MBA approach to business versus the entrepreneurs who are going how do I deal with this shit I'm going through versus big companies, which are just like have systems in place and they just want to improve them versus companies that are falling apart that need to be 
completely redone each one of those is at a very different sort of phase or part of business life so you'd have to approach it as a facilitator very different i think it's it's very contextually focused mm -hmm. so you, you have to understand you know where someone's at where they're trying to get to where you are at what kind of tools you have and then helping them get to where they want to go i mean that to me would be the basic simplest version of going like i think a good facilitator can take a group and move them to a goal and that and that you can have a career the rest of your life mm -hmm. and there, there there's groups in every city you know whether they're nonprofit or business or whatever their teams need help and this is a tool you can bring in sell the tool teach the tool yeah that's what i was just going to say i might just do that with it to start yeah i mean for you you can start to like Zoom meetings yeah like i'm also creating backgrounds for zooms so you can actually take the cards you pick and actually have a background kind of well did i send it to you oh, i haven't sent it to you let me see if i got it here i just started make, making them um, awesome like, oh, the, like that one like this is the beginning of me making the manual because it's it's again like it's there's a lot of polarities so this is the polarity with the the values, and of course I'm <laughs> trying to hypnotize them with this geometry <laughs> and probably drive everyone crazy. <laughs> I tell you, they're gonna barbecue me one day. I think. <laughs> I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> hope people have a sense of humor when they really find out about. <laughs> so. So I'm excited you you actually have it. We're chatting. I'm thinking like we might want to maybe have a weekly conversation. That's a want, good idea. If you want. And we could post this on YouTube if you like. Love to. I mean, this is all part of the plan, but uh, we got to edit the bloopers first. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, do you do edit like uh, I'll load it up. Um, OK, but. I don't know if you do any editing on your own because because it's a little long and then if you just take I can. bits and pieces out. Yeah, this one seems fine so far. No one has farted yet or <laughs> done anything funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can always bring that in, depending upon ratings, I guess. But uh, I love your new hair. Like you, you weren't that. Thank you. You weren't that before, were you? Or it looks new. I've gradually started going blonder and then I mean I used to straighten my hair a lot for like work and stuff but I just take a shower and I dry it and this is what happened so okay I, I think it, it looks Simple. great it looks great thank you and I want to commend you on your uh your continuing uh stand for freedom and, and wisdom and intelligence and uh, thank you you too you post a lot of really good stuff it's it's amazing isn't it you know just what's happening and, and what the degree of in, like i don't know if you saw i posted the thing um the little kids having the mask the mask song they're all the teachers singing them a song about how good the mask is uh, i haven't seen that one oh, fuck. It's, oh my god i've got about 500 videos from from tiktok i just i'm just every good video I just I download and there's just so much good stuff um, from people that like it's it's there's a lot of us out there but we're I think we're we we still haven't organized together and that's hopefully yeah. what this like the idea is that the whole plan is in this card set there's a way to completely transform the whole economic system through right. the card, through the card set so depending upon who you connect with. It's it's sort of it's more important to sort of I think connect with like-minded people to give them the tools to empower them, right? Like mm -hmm. like we need to sort of uh, we need to connect our mind strength. You know, I mean these guys are dumb, like and hey, hearts. Yeah, I mean I can't believe how dumb these like <laughs> they get away, they get away with stuff that's so bad. Yeah, I know. So bad. Sometimes I'm. Like usually I'm like, oh, I'm not surprised, whatever. But sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> Jeez. But Florida, we're 
we're not as bad here. Like the mandates aren't like well, it's illegal. Other right? states. Yeah, they can't do it, right? So that's you're we in got a, great a good state. government. Yeah, that's why. And I heard ivermectin's banned in Canada. Is that true? And everything's banned. I mean, common sense is banned. I mean, the, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was a doctor who I, I was listening to who he had patients. They were close to death. He heard about the ivermectin, got them on the ivermectin. They they all recovered. And then he got some letter from like Minister of Health or someone high up in the bureaucracy saying he's not allowed to do that. Like, and he said, screw you, I'm doing that. This is good for the patients. Like, what are you talking about? Like, all these people are being, like, I heard what there's $5 trillion going on. Like, they are paying people masses amounts of money everywhere to get this going. Like, and meanwhile. Yeah, and when people die of something else, they tell them the nurses to put COVID and they're paying them extra to do it. Like, yeah. every... <laughs> <laughs> does that ring a bell for anybody here <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh, crazy it's so, only gonna get here i think mm, unless we do something about this well i think we are i think there's a lot of people around the world who are very irritated like a third what a third of austrians are unvaccinated and they want to find two thousand dollars a day or two thousand dollars every time they're caught trying to go to the store or they're not allowed to go like you can't do that like no you could have done it maybe in the 20s or the 30s or before but you can't do that anymore like especially in america people have guns and stuff <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know i mean i, I think they're pushing I'm towards, hoping they don't they're pushing towards some sort of civil war i mean yeah i mean i've been growing my own food because i'm they could possibly do what they're doing in Australia and Austria, just cutting people off from groceries because they're not vaccinated or fining them or putting them in concentration camps. It's insane. Oh, fucking good. Like, <laughs> aye, 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 aye. So, okay. Like let's, let's chat each week and I, I'm putting together some programs. And so the, the first programs will be sort of available to the, the people who have the card sets first, I'll probably do a test one before sort of going into the market for the bigger ones. Um, so hopefully you'll participate. And yes. um, we got a pretty awesome set of people that uh, are all on board. So, so did you want to say anything else before we ended or? Uh, nothing else, just much love and respect to you and anything else you need, let me know. And I'm really excited about this. Okay. Okay. I love everything about this. The okay. cards. Maybe what you can do is sort of, cause I, I don't have a manual and I'm making one as we go. And I'm sort of, again, sort of going to use videos and different things too. Mm -hmm. um, Help you with that. Yeah. Just any like feedback about what, how you would like to, a simple version of what you would like in the beginning kind of, cause I sort mm -hmm. of give too much. And so if you, if you could help me with sort of uh, good, good, good ways to use it, maybe, maybe like some sort of a, a, a vlog that if you start to sort of on your own, sort of have your own sort of uh, um, for exercises, for, for mm -hmm. just sort of like, because I think that each of you're going to be a different teacher in a different way. Right. And you're you right now you're like everyone else in two years is going to be, and you might forget it, but it's just like, you know, step by step, how do we introduce this to people in a way that sort yeah. of works and catches and isn't too much and kind of thing like that. Yeah. All righty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great to see you. You too. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I hope you'd enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you. And thanks for everyone who watched. Uh, this is uh, the beginning of Planetary Guardians bringing the conscious communication card set into the world. Thank Sweet. you for watching. Bye.